Well, indeed, and our little one is being as cute as you can be. It tried to run around just now and fell over completely, and now it's just bonding with mom. Look at how it's rubbing up, just getting sort of that affirmation of the fact that that is mother, making sure it gets to know its mom very well. You'll also see how this female keeps sectioning it off from the rest of the herd. It gets between it and the herd, and the reason for that is to try and imprint the stripe pattern on this little baby. So basically what it's trying to do is as it walks with this baby, it keeps it sort of that the baby is on the outside the baby then learns that that pattern that it sees is mom and therefore the best place to go and get milk so really cool now they've just gone behind a bush and I'm hoping they might just come out again Ferg, let's try go back a little bit but this is so cool to see it's always nice when we get new little animals around and like I say Jamie must be beaming from ear to ear with the birth of those three lions of the Angama pride I have a feeling that the Angama pride is going to become like the Inkahuma pride for the guys up in the Mara given that it's right there on their doorstep and I'm pretty sure we're gonna to get to know those lionesses very well which is going to be cool for everybody involved and hopefully we'll get lots of magical sightings with those three little new ones as well now where are you little baby Oh, don't be behind the bushes here. There's a little section that's maybe a... So, Donna, you're asking why is the mother and baby away from the rest of the herd? Well, Donna, it's pretty much as I just said now, is where the situation where this mother is trying to protect this baby, well, not protect the baby, but trying to get the baby to recognize her stripe pattern as mother. So what they often do is they separate slightly, they'll be on the fringes of the herd, and they try and imprint on their baby as much as possible. So you can imagine this little baby gets quite confused by all these stripes, difficult to know who mom is, and so that pattern will imprint on the baby, and she'll know, okay, that's contrary contrasting pattern and those stripes mean that's mom and that's where I go for safety and particularly when there is some sort of panic situation if there's lions that come in and chase she knows which female to carry on with and to sh run with to make sure that it's protected but look at that that is so cool hello little one <laughs> Mita, who's eight years old. Hello, Mita. I hope you're having a nice day. And you say that its tail is so fluffy. Well, I know, Mita, the whole of it looks fluffy. Don't you think it looks a lot more fluffy than the, the mommy zebra? It's got fluff coming down its back. And even its fur around its bum is a lot more fluffy than its mom. And it's just to stay nice and warm and insulated, especially because it's now going into winter and it's going to get very cold here, Mita. And so these guys need a little bit of extra fur as a baby to be able to survive. And look at its chin. Its chin is also very fluffy as well. Oh, careful you don't fall over. <laughs> it's busy trying to groom itself so much that it almost fell over. But look at that. Isn't that cute? You can't tell me there's many things in life that is not cuter than a little baby zebra. What's in your teeth? Have you got your own fur stuck in your teeth? It looks like it's got its own fur stuck in its teeth from where it was grooming itself. You can see it's just hanging down there off the chin. <laughs> it must be so interesting for these zebras to come into this world and see, well, in any animal, really, and this big, wide world with all these interesting sounds, and it's probably one of the first times it's seen a vehicle, and that's why it's also sticking close to mom and making sure, mom, is this okay? Do I have to worry about this big object? But it seems as though it's taking it all in its stride. There we go, a little run. Careful you don't fall. You can see it's learning about running and this is a typical response from a baby when they move they tend to run around like this they get excited and they want to move as quick as possible so Michael, you think one asking how old I think this little one is. You can see there's another baby in the background. Well, Michael, this is a, a fairly newborn. It's still wobbly on its feet, so I would say a matter of days old, um, if not, in fact, hours old. But it's not wet in any way, and it doesn't have matted fur from the afterbirth, so I would say days more than anything else. But there are a whole bunch of zebra now coming out of the bush, and I wonder if this isn't our McCurdy Herdy returning back. It's about the right size for them, and they seem really relaxed with the vehicles, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is maybe they went away and gave birth to two little ones and now they're back I'm sure Taylor will be super excited if she comes back from leave and sees that the herd is back in this area and has a new addition to it now Ferg I'm gonna try go forward because it gets nice and sort of open in front of me here 
and I'm driving Wendy again for the first time and I don't know how long and she drives very different differently to Rusty so I do apologize if you have a little bit of over revving her clutch lets out a lot later than what Rusty's does now Ferg you know what might be quite nice is if we go around and we get the little baby with the sunrise because the sunrise is about to be the most epic sunrise just hold on I'm gonna try quickly so we're gonna just try and see if we can't do a little sunrise backlit zebra mm, let's see if we can get in here Ferg all the way from Texas hello all right I hope you're having a wonderful evening because it should be evening in that part of the world and you want to know what are the chances of this baby making it all the way to adulthood well difficult to say at the end of the day it is a sort of nasty world out here there is a lot that can eat a baby of that size so when we're talking about hyenas lions leopard wild dogs there are lots of different predators that hunt baby zebras and so it's going to be really really quite tough for that little one but they do have the protection of the herd which means that maybe just maybe it will be all right now look at this this is such a beautiful picture unfortunately the zebra need to come through the grass a little bit but there's our sun just peeking up over the horizon and it's a bright orange ball and then our zebras just in that long grass and hopefully they're going to start coming out but that is a magical way to start the day that's for sure baby zebra big orange sun very cool indeed and you can see how tall this yellow thatching grass gets I know Taylor's spoken about it a few times, but I mean, if you look at the size of those zebra, and the zebra are not a small animal by any stretch of the imagination. You saw yesterday with the, that male lion when he was dragging that zebra, how big it is in relation to him. And you can see how tall this grass is, that it's over the top of the heads of these zebra, and the little baby is completely hidden. And so stripes in the long grass works very well as a camouflage pattern. Now, we're gonna stay with our zebra a little bit longer and admire the sunrise, but I believe Byron has found something that may be a little wiser than he is.